Hello artists. Welcome to another virtual uh, art class. Today we're going to um, work on a really fun project called Degas Hats. Um, it is inspired by um, a painter called Ed Edgar Degas. He was French and he was part of the Impressionistic uh, movement. And he, he loved to paint things that were a part of everyday life. He's very well known for ballerinas um, and things like th this hat shop um, that showed people just in, um, you know, going about their lives. This one painting is actually um, in the Art Institute in Chicago. It was uh, painted in 1879 and it's called the Millinery Shop, Mil um, a millinery shop is a shop that has hats. So we are going to create um, a look of Impressionism. Um, he loved to use chalk and um, blend a lot of different colors together. So we're going to um, just, I'm gonna get you started with this. We're going to use um, a smaller piece of paper, a nine, nine and a half by 12 piece of paper. Um, you could use um, a, a larger piece of paper, but anything that's rectangular because we wanna get the look of um, just the hats in this picture. So there are three prominent hats. We're gonna use um, some papers, some different trims. We're gonna do some collage. We're gonna be doing some drawing. Um, but first we're going to paint the background. So um, you're gonna to wanna to have your um, paper um, in landscape mode and um, have an, a couple of different kinds of brushes. And what we're going to do first is we're going to paint the foreground. So um, we're, going to, we're gonna paint a wall in the background. So we're gonna use a little artistic license and we're gonna um, uh, make, make the <laughs> painting actually larger and, and um, taller than it is. Um, also need to give credit to um, Deep Space Sparkle who created this art lesson. Um, so we're going to use watercolors or you can also use markers that you have wet in water to kind of give this look. Um, but if you look at this, uh, we've got a, we've got some um, different colors here, but you can also pick colors that you like. So let's say that we do the foreground um, in a whole bunch of different colored blues. Okay, now what happens if we wet our paper first, okay? Um, and we're gonna be filling about a third of it with this foreground. Um, so, okay, I used that color blue. If you've got some different colors or you have some paints where you can um, uh, do some mixing in another spot, let's get some green in there, okay? So just play with um, establishing, so, one thing about Impressionism, it's a lot of different colors um, together to give you the impression of what it is. It is not a hard-lined drawing. It is not meant to look realistic, okay? So I think I feel like I need a little bit more blue. Now you might wanna come all the way to your edges and you know have a piece of scrap paper underneath um, ooh, there's a real pretty like lavender blue. Oh, that didn't really show up, did it? There it is. Okay, so play with the what's in the foreground, um, and keep keep adding things until you like what you've got. Okay, but the, we're going to use horizontal lines. Remember, we're going to turn this so that this is the foreground and our hats are going to be on hat stands up in here, okay? So this is as if we're doing the, the table that, they're, that they're, they're sitting on, okay? All right, so that gives you an idea. Now, get creative with um, how you wanna do the wallpaper that's behind, okay? Maybe you want to introduce a little bit of yellow and um, now, so we have these nice vertical, um, horizontal, now we're gonna do vertical. Do they all have to be straight? No. What if we, well that's kind of light, but do you see how I did a, sort of a zigzaggy? That's a little better. I'm coming back to that color. So I'm making a design in the wallpaper 
you can choose any colors you like. Because what we're going to do is we're going to draw the hats on colored paper and we're going to do a couple of different kinds. So maybe I come in and I get a really, really pretty pink. Okay? And maybe this one is zigzaggy. You do whatever you like. Okay? This is your millinery, your hat shop. We're just creating like a wallpaper look. Ooh, that's really bright. So depending on how much um, water you have on your brush, right? Um, now you could also, you could do this whole drawing on a nice colored piece of, um, of paper, maybe a light yellow or a green or something like that, right? Um, that way, you know, you, the color that you're adding is, is going to be completely, so let me add just, let's see, maybe kind of this light green. And maybe just give an impression. So we're not trying to make anything look realistic, right? So this gives you an idea, all right? And I might add some of that green back in here too, just to tie it together. Okay, so you will have lots of fun with this. Now once, while this is drying, of course you would fill it in. You want that, that whole background to be just this nice wallpaper that you've designed. Um, then we're going to we're going to get some of the the hats. Now these could be completely drawn. Let's get the let's get this pretty pink. Okay, and I know this is wet here, but let me get a pencil. Now, so let's think about size. A hat can live here. Can our hats go off the paper a little bit? Sure they could. So let's think about maybe three hats that are, you know, are smaller than this paper. Um, you could use different kinds of scrapbook paper. Um, I kind of, I have one that's kind of pretty here. Um, or just different colored. I have a lavender and a blue. I have some yellow. Just gathered a couple of things. Also, you're going to um, be cutting out the hat stand. So let's bring that let's bring that picture back in. Okay, these hat stands um, have now they're different sizes, right? So let's cut them out of you know could you could use like a dark paper. One, another thing about um, Degas is he. I think I mentioned how much he loved working with chalk, and that's not something that, that you probably have at home. We would have that in the art room. But um, he would make dark lines. That was He loved the Japanese method of, of adding dark lines. Now, so one of them could be um, uh, farther up into the table. One could be maybe way back on the table, and one could be like halfway. Okay, and then to make the um, triangles, just take a chunk out of a corner, right? You've got four corners here. They don't have to be exact. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it this way. Okay, so make some triangles. And so these are gonna be collaged on, right? And this, it will be like in the middle of that. And what I was saying about, um, and you don't want them to all be going the same direction because that's not how they would be um, necessarily unless you are really particular about your hat shop. Um, okay, so let's pretend that we have glued those down with a glue stick. Let me show you two options instead of using a black chalk. Um, a really soft pencil okay let's say this is down already to give it a nice dark shadow okay this is a really dark brown to begin with so that doesn't really do a whole lot but you can kind of see um, or a black sh that does a little bit more a black sharpie not a black sharpie a black uh, prismacolor pencil and what I like about this is 
um, you're able to sketch it along the side. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? It, it's an impression of the shadow. So the shadow would be coming all the way down in here and then the shadow would be on the triangle, okay? Can you see that? Oh, I haven't been in the picture all this time. Um, okay, so you would glue those down after your painting is dry, right? So one way up in the front, one that's up back here, and then maybe one about halfway, okay? And you'll arrange the um, triangles so that they look like they would be actual stands. Okay, now you can see that better. All right, so now we're going to draw our hats. Um, I would pick three different kinds. So let's say that we're going to do this, this pink one here. And um, I'll use my pencil and I'm just looking at it. It basically has a brim, right? These are your hats. You can design them however you like. Um, but remember Degas was part, so let's start with the LeBeau here. Now you can completely, um, so I'm just making like almost like a flower, okay? Then we'll come back in. So this is gonna come back around. So we've made the top of the hat and then the brim goes around. So you have choices here. We can draw it completely. We can um, maybe uh, fill it in with colored pencils or markers, or you can completely collage this. Um, so let's just add a little bit more detail, just a little bit of a ribbon on both sides. Now, um, and then you've got um, some trailing ribbon here, right? Now, in order to make ribbons look real, you're going to remember they're about that thick. And so you're gonna come around here, okay, and then around. So you're making like this little place at the end, almost like a teardrop, okay? Let's do that again. So we're coming, we're coming to the end like that. So we start in the middle. Okay, make sure it's wide enough, come to the end all the way, and then around. Okay, so that gives it some dimension, right? Now, if we cut that out and put it on here, that would be super um, pretty, wouldn't it? Maybe we would want to um, color in, you know, with colored pencils, maybe a really pretty blue. Okay, so you have choices here of how you want to do your hats, okay? So when you, when you um, color in rib, ribbons, it's gonna be darker here, right? Okay, um, darker on the edges here, darker on the edges. Or you completely, uh, you know, make it out of pieces of scrapbook paper you have. Um, okay, so you could cut, you can make the, um, the top of the hat and then lay it on um, a, an oval brim and then add in, you know, some um, pretty little doodads, okay? You raid your, <laughs> your craft supplies, get some beads, get some lace. So I have some rickrack here, I have lace. So you could completely, um, you know, bunch that up and make that really, really fun. Um, you know, this is flat, but then it has this element here. So once you have your three hats, and you just use the drawing guide here um, for some ideas, I would try to make some different colored ones. You could do it on white paper and then completely color them in, um, and, and then um, cut them out and lay them um, until you, I wouldn't glue anything down until you like what you have done. So when you cut it out, okay, Now, you could, um, you could add Sharpie around the edges if you want to, but I think that it would be prettier if you just use the same kind of shading that you, you, that you use on the hat stands, okay? There. Let's put this in the middle. That's so pretty. Um, so, just find some, maybe we put a little button first, and then that, all right? 
So once you like them and you glue them down, um, then your hat shop is, is ready and I can't wait to see um, what you come up with. So have fun.